A560 comes with BIM A flange controller. It can be controlled by different kinds of transmitters. Today I'm going to introduce how to set T16D or T12D to control A560. You can also check this video for how to use T16D or T12D together with BIM A flange controller. A560 RTF version comes with R8XM mini receiver. Here it is. R8XM is compatible with T16D or T12D transmitter, so we use R8XM mini receiver and T12D as an example in this video. And here is BIM A flat controller. Aileron server is connected to channel 1, elevator server to channel 2, throttle ESC to channel 3, and rudder to channel 4, and sparse OPPM channel is connected to the receiver. You can also refer to the screen to connect BIM A. Now bind the receiver to the transmitter. Power on T12D. Enter receiver settings, RF settings, protocol. R8XM supports FHSS V1 protocol, so I can only select V1 protocol here. You can refer to the chart on the screen to set the correct protocol for your receiver. And then connect the battery to A560. Make sure the polarity is now reversed. Keep it still. The set test is done. The LED of the receiver flashes because it is not bound to the transmitter. While well, long press the bending button of the receiver. The LED flash is fast. And the LED goes solid. We can also see the signal on the screen of T12G, which means the bending is successful. The LED of the receiver is purple, which means it is in sparse working mode. BIM A supports standard sparse or PPM signal, so they can work together. Power off A560. Now set the transmitter. Enter advanced settings. Type, and we need to select the first one, fixed one. And enter general settings. Reverse. Set the direction of the channel 3 throttle to reverse and other channels to normal. And enter general settings of okay, signal channel. The flight mode of BIM A flight controller are switched by channel 5 and channel 7. So we need to assign a 3 position switch for channel 5 and a 2 position switch for channel 7. And I assign switch A, a 3 position switch for channel 5, and switch D. A two position switch for channel 7. And make sure switch A and switch D are not used by other channels. And I also need to end transmitter settings. Switch settings. Make sure switch A works at a three position switch and switch D works at a two position switch. And after the setting, power on A560. Connect battery. Keep A560 still. The self check is down. Attitude calibration. And we need to place A560 on the ground to calibrate the attitude. It is recommended to lift the head of A560 with about a 20 degree angle for beginners to calibrate the attitude. So I install the landing gear and place it on the ground because it is about a 20 degree angle. Then push the two joysticks like this, to calibrate the attitude. The green LED of BIM A flashes once. When the calibration is complete, it is also normal for the control service to swing or the motor to rotate once at this time. And then I introduce the flight modes on BIM A. And BIM A has six flight modes, and we have already assigned switch A and switch D to switch the flight modes. And you can refer to the picture on the screen for the flight modes. Push switch D up. It is stabilized mode when switch A up, and general mode when switch A in the center, and manual mode when switch A down. And in manual mode, there is no gyro function, so the control service won't move when you turn the aircraft. And push switch D down. It is multi rotor vertical mode when switch A up, and acrobat mode when switch A in the center, and fixed wing vertical mode when switch A down. And please note the value range of channel 5 and channel 7 corresponding to the flight mode. 
as shown in the picture. When using transmitters from other brands, please refer to it to switch the flight modes. Hold A560 and turn it to check the movement of the control surface of aileron, elevator, and rod. If the gyro face is reversed, please press the button on BIM A to change the gyro face. Here it is. And then test the transmitter face, switch to manual mode, and push the joystick of aileron elevator and rod and check the movement of the control surface. Check the aileron. Elevator and the rod. If the movement of the control surface of the corresponding channel is reversed, please enter reversed menu of the transmitter to adjust the transmitter phase of the corresponding channel. After you have done all the above steps, you can install the propeller and fly A560 outside.